Okay, so super hard exercise. Super hard. I took the aim stick and I made a little impression here tonight. Okay, so I could try to have low point control doing this. See what I mean? I could try, I could, and I could have some, but not, it's not going to be powerful, right? So look at the difference. So here's my arms a bit more up on top of me, a triangle of my arms. There's a weight at the end of this stick. That weight is going to move relative to where this triangle is pointed. So imagine, use the same stick as an example. So there's the kind of triangle of my arms. There's the club head. Now I see how this golf club is going to line up with the end of this stick, but it won't line up with it until the ball's sort of somewhat gone, right? Yeah. So at no point am I kind of separating this, these elbows. So the feeling here, and this is tricky, no doubt, is that, okay, there's the triangle of my arms. Here's this club head that can work independently. So now my triangle is pointed at you. Club head's way over there, isn't it? Body inspires the triangle to move. Club plays some catch up. And then there's some overtaking. So there's the triangle of my arms. There's the, and I'm holding on to the club very lightly. So as I move myself, there's some arms that are comfortably long with my buns under me, right? Okay. And again, it's really easy when we do these kind of exercises to kind of get a, st a stalled body and get these arms kind of going do si do with the elbows rather than going, okay, there's, there's my arms, triangle. Here's the club moving relative to that triangle. The club head isn't in the same place it started. It's got a way different angular relationship. Right wrist is bent back some, isn't it? Body unwinds, it plays catch up. It can maybe catch up in the right place or maybe not but we're learning something over here every time we make a good one or miss. Because what I want to avoid is this look, where that trail arm kind of, or lead arm pulls and buckles, right? So come on up here, right foot here, left foot over here, grip it and hold it parallel to the ground for me. Okay, now, good, that left arm's up on top of you, great. So here's a golf club now that's generally in line with the triangle, agreed? Mm -hmm. Good. So now keep the triangle there. Now there's a club that's not in line with the triangle, right? Mm -hmm. So now how does this thing get pa past this yellow finish line? Yeah, a little bit of pivot. Thank you. A excellent. You did that on your own. Like perfect, right? So I, you know, I was going to guide you there, but you did it. So there's a dress. Okay. Feel some pressure in your feet, one at one at a time, like back and forth pressure, because you're going to be athletic in just a second. There's an event that moves the club. Yeah, but whoa, 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 hang on. There's an, come on feet, feel some of this. Just mimic me. Good, that's all I'm asking for. And no, we're not stuck in the mud, right? Then we're gonna make this motion. Guess what the club does? This club is not, no longer pointing where the triangle is pointing, is it? Nope. And then this body is gonna transport it. Good, maybe that hits a gorgeous shot. And then it plays a bit of catch up to over here. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. Right, so the, the worst thing in golf, and this is what everybody gets started this way. They stare down here at Whitey, and they stare at it, and they do this. And they get decent enough to shoot 110, decent enough to shoot 102, and then they're kind of stuck in that pattern, mm -hmm. right? And that's, that's the pattern that, as a coach, all I'm trying to do is really break people out of that pattern, right. right? So give me that good triangle, arm up on top of you, good. A backswing with some feet develops an out-of-line condition. Here's, you stay right there, I'm going to show you what an out-of-line condition looks like. Here's where your triangle is pointed. There's where the club head is, right? Mm -hmm. There's some freedom. This is going to want to play a bit of catch up, but you know what's going to outrace it? Yeah, a bit of, bit of pivot. And ideally, we're going to get functional enough to where we have decent low point control over here. Now, I missed a couple doing that demo because it's hard and I've played all my life, right? Yeah. And here's the thing we do it up here. It's a hell of a lot easier up here than it is when we stick our booty out and bend over yeah. and we have to use kind of the a tilted pelvis and legs to help us do this thing that's relatively simple up here, right? So now let's put a club here. Okay, good. Um, I'm gonna give you a target line so you can get your toes a bit more equidistant. 
great. Okay, so let's get the hands kind of unified, meaning that that right hand is cuddling that left thumb. Excellent. Narrow the base and flare the feet a little bit. Good. Okay. So in a backswing, we're going to put this thing a little bit out of line, right? Mm -hmm. And then our body's going to rotate, but it can't stand up or you're not going to hit the ground, right? Right. You got to be able to rotate in your incline a little bit. Okay, good. And then let it keep going. Touch the sand or not. Okay. Hold your finish right there. Ah, oh, you don't have to fake anything higher than that. Okay. There wasn't any more momentum. Didn't need to go right. up there, right? Okay, so don't pull it up. Don't, don't make it go up. Good. So do it again. Get out of line and let the pivot help you. Okay, good job. Cozy up toward me so we can start wearing out this little bit. Of, yep. Narrow stance, flary feet. Okay. Let the backswing get the club a little bit out of line relative to the triangle. Good. Let the pivot help start to deliver it. Excellent. Do it again. And that was a good touch. You touched at and after. So do it again. Narrow flurry stance is way easier than wide and boxy. Okay. Let the pivot get help get the club out of line. Good. Okay. Good try. Narrow and flurry. Okay, so check where he landed, well behind it, right? Yeah. Okay, so we gotta walk before we run, right? Mm -hmm. And here's walking before we run, may I? Mm -hmm. Just over there for me. Okay, so here is a triangle. Here's the club that can waggle about that triangle. There's some freedom, some rhythm, because I want that club to play against the bottom of that triangle. Like we did before. You know it, right? So I'm going to go tap, tap, and the rules of golf in a, in a greenside bunker don't let you do this, but as you're learning this exercise, and then watch my feet. I keep talking about the feet because I want the feet to help move you. Don't be stuck in the mud moving your arms, okay? Feet, 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 okay? Feet help move you. Knock out some sand, tuck your keister up under you, and stay there for a sec. Go, hey, I did it. Come back and do it again. Feet, 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 feet. Feet help move you. Go, okay, I'm, I'm, now I'm touching sand, right? Not trying to do anything too hard. All I'm doing is letting this pivot, right? And if you put your hands in my rear end here, come grab me by both hips, okay? So this is what, this is how strong that is, watch. Like, good luck holding that, right? Because you see what I mean? So what's really start my backswing? Keep your hands on my pit on my on my rear. See how my pivot's doing the job? Yeah, it's all in the hips, Chubbs, right? Hips, hips. See my point? Good. Let's see you brush away some sand. Doing awesome. This is like this is hard. This is good stuff. You know what? Narrow and flurry. Okay, left arm on top of you. At a girl, right? A little bit of yeah. Feet get things going. Okay, so way too long. See where this club is over here? I could have grabbed it. When I was done, where was this little energy going to? Just to here. Right? So don't move. I'm going to give you the club right back. But let me, let me have the club for a sec. Okay? So I'm going to do it and pass it right back to you. Watch. Nothing over here for now. Okay? Narrow and flurry. Work this line. See if you can smack some sand. Give it, waggle it. There you go. Feel your feet. Not a girl. Yes, that's better. Good. Do it again. Anticipate that sand. Why I feel the feet? Watch my feet. Watch how my feet help me. See, I'm pushing into the ground, moving my hip. Okay, good. Okay, same little shot, here you go. Maybe this ball comes out, maybe it doesn't. Maybe you chunk it, maybe you revert back to something and scoopy scooperson. It's okay, test yourself. Left arm up on top of you. Let your booty, let your feet do a bit of the work here. Good. Excellent, yay. That's what I was doing earlier, missing all the sand. Yeah, a little bit, there's a little retraction here, mm -hmm. right? You know, but do I want you actually, you know, catching some sand? I do. But what I was thrilled to see was, you know, here's a girl not stuck in the mud, 
right? And we're standing in sand, oddly enough, right? And how this leg gets the, pel the pivot going, and then we respond into these little guys. You'll get better at brushing away some sand, because if you get decent here, mm -hmm. that's cheating, it's easy. <laughs> the grass is easy. Okay. okay, here, do it again. Fantastic. Show me, feet, booty, rhythm, little halfers, hold your finish. Left arm, come on, thank you. Okay, so a little chunky, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And so I also, like I yeah, so you, if you felt like you pulled it up, you probably did. So now no ball, set that blade square to that little valley I created, right? Give me a little bit of foot flare. Okay, get the left arm in front of you. Good, okay. So as we hit this, right, we need rhythm here. Easy there, muscles, McGillicuddy, right? Ready, rhythm, Whew. good. Turn, 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 thwap. Arms, yes. Buns, little side bend, little eyes, eyes tilty. So see that feel right there? Like that belongs in a magazine. And that's, that's where we're going. We're, th we're thwapping, thwapping to that point, All right? Thwap, boom. Okay, eyes back, head back, buns under, little tilt, thwap to there. Face matches your tilts, you with me? Face matches your tilts a bit more, good. Thwap. Yes, see that's awesome. Like if my coach Mike saw that, he'd be like, oh, right? Thwap to there, show me. Little guy, show me that perfect finish. Flary feet, left arm on top, little thwap, hold your finish. Okay, good try, nice little adjustment there to fix it. A little chunky, right? Mm -hmm. So now, as it, you know, you're a, you're, you're a can-do chick, so come on over here for a sec. Say, all right, I can, I see this triangle. I can thwap it have some tilts, comfortably long arms on that side. I can waggle it. I can use the ground with my feet. Start that motor, thwap. I, I think you're starting to get it. I see a little bit of the rhythm in here, right? And then come on over here. Let's use this little pyramid of balls right here. Here you go. So we'll go this way. And then we can take that aim stick, do the aim stick dance for a bit of cloud cover would be nice. And we have a little groove, right? Mm -hmm. It's gonna bounce back, we won't see it too long. But here's the same thing. Show me that little left arm on top, feeling the feet. Narrow flary stance. See yourself in your nice thwappy follow through, little abbreviated shot. Show me. Okay. Yeah, a little bit, right? Okay. Narrow flurry stance. See yourself in your awesome little tilty thwappy finish. Feel that little bit of elbow separation? You could feel it, couldn't you, right? I know, I know, I know, I know. Come on over. Do me a favor, actually, before you do, come come grab me by the belt buckles right here. Tight, tight, tight. Okay? Yeah, in fact, maybe just grab me by the hips so you don't tear a belt buckle off me. Okay, so as I as feel what's happening here, right? So as I use the ground. So see how much pelvis is, is going there, right? And so there's no chance. The legs are so strong does it, that in you and me that it'd be impossible not to, yeah. Good stuff.